Welcome to the version 3.03 update for the digital zone system. Two things have changed in this update. One, we've fixed some minor issues to the core code of the plugin. And secondly, a new preferences dialog box has also been added. To access the preferences dialog box, go to the hamburger icon and then select preferences. And this will open up the preferences dialog window. In here, we can check for updates and we can choose whether we want to check for new minor updates automatically or whether we want to check for new major releases automatically. If you don't want to check for either, you can deselect one of the options or if you want to check for both of them, you can select both of the options. I do recommend that you leave these checked because then you will be notified if there is a new minor or new major release of the plugin. Also in the preferences dialog box, we can now change the theme color of the Photoshop user interface itself. And we can change the accent color of certain elements within the plugin. So let's start by looking at the Photoshop theme. These are the default themes that come with Photoshop and we've got the lightest theme and then we have a light theme, a dark theme, and then we have the darker, darker theme. Currently I'm selected using the dark theme and you can see that in the interface colors of Photoshop. However, if I want to go to the darker theme, I can select that and as soon as I select save, we're now into the darker darker theme of Photoshop. If you prefer to work in the lighter theme we can simply go back to preferences, choose the light theme and again when we press save we're now using the light theme of Photoshop. So let me just go back to the dark theme and hit save. The other options inside the preferences dialog box is the ability to change the accent color of certain elements within the Photoshop panel itself. The main elements are going to be these tab colors. So if I was to choose a different tab color and press save, you'll see that that has now changed the background color of those elements. This is more of an aesthetic change and doesn't actually alter the operation of the panel itself. So that's just two things that have been added into the version 3.03 update of the digital zone system. The plugin is now available to update and you can get that from your account within the digital black and white website. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye for now.